This segment of Delmarva Life is brought to you by Seniors Helping Seniors. Helping someone else can be so very rewarding, and many of us have experienced that. Caregivers with Seniors Helping Seniors feel this on another level. Uh, not only do they get the satisfaction of knowing that their assistance is keeping older folks in their homes, they also learn a lot from those that they take care of. Delmarva Life's Katie Zarelli tells us a little bit more. Getting groceries, making meals, handling housekeeping. For employees of Seniors Helping Seniors, though there's a list of tasks to tackle, nothing tops forming friendships. We don't show up at the door with our, our satchels. We knock on the door and usually we'll have a muffin or something in hand to come visit our friends, our clients. Um, we, we, we love spending time with them. Director Amy McDermott says Seniors Helping Seniors in Sussex County started eight years ago. The goal is to help elderly folks stay in their homes as they navigate their final chapters. It's so nice to age in place, to enjoy your view in your home, the things you know, the things you're most comfortable with. You can find your way to every part of your house in the dark. It's your house. It's where you, you've lived through the last 20, 40, 60 years. And by having non-medical home care services, they're able to do that. They benefit by living where they want to and how they want to, and caregivers benefit too. We also get that sense of satisfaction and, and knowledge that we're helping someone else. And at the same time, they're helping us. We had a void in our lives and they are helping us feel complete and feel valued. Though the responsibilities for caregivers will vary from client to client, each caregiver does some digging. One of the things we do is we mine for information. We're interested in them. And, we're, and we relate to them and we want to hear about them. Because each and every individual has a story to tell. Take Lillian, for instance. She was a coal miner's daughter and a coal miner's wife. And they were from West Virginia and they had hard lives. And she gathered her whole family and moved them to Delaware and put them, the kids all on a course for good education and they're all very successful. She's got an enormous family. We lost Lily, and I'm talking like her, about her like she is sitting here. She's a very present part of my life. Lillian changed my life um, just by knowing her. The, her grit and her substance and her, her positive attitude about getting her family into a better life, and she accomplished that. And just before her 101st birthday, she quietly passed away at home. There's also Retta from Harbison. She's in her 90s and she tells me about sitting on the roof of a building in Harbison with her teenage girlfriends and their job was to watch the night sky for enemy invaders. You know, everybody has a story and uh, by spending time with them, we are learning so much about the, uh, the area that we've adopted. And we're also learning about things that we didn't know anything about that, that are the fabric of our American lives. I took a ride through Harbison last week and took, she, she's homebound. And I took pictures driving up and down the street, snap, 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 of both sides of the street. And then we spent the afternoon looking at those pictures and she had a story for every house. Those houses have been there a long time and her house, the one she grew up in, is probably one of the best looking houses in Harbison. It's really beautiful. Lastly, Bill from Pennsylvania. His job, as he worked his way through the ranks, was to get all these little phone companies in, in Pennsylvania, start, that's where he started, to follow the same policies and procedures. Amy says the skills it takes to do the job are those that have been developed over a lifetime. It's most important for caregivers to want to be with people and see those people thrive. You're going to meet people that are, like I said, from all walks of life, who have a story to tell and want to be independent. They don't want to go to a nursing home. They don't want to live in their daughter's basement. They, they want to stay in their house. It's going to be us one day, not too far from now. And we'll want to know that we'll be cared for and that our stories will be shared.